All right, Functional, season one, episode 13. Let's go. Shout out to Leroy Luna for all the graphics on this. Killing it. Ooh, mass grocery store scenes. I'm in line to be assistant manager with We film these at the butt crack of dawn, y'all. Either in the wee hours of the morning or yeah, the wee hours of the morning. Sleep time. You know what? But the overnight shoots were actually really cool. It was it's one of the coolest sets that we had for sure. I mean it's a full on grocery store. Oh my god. Yes, Queen! I knew you were one of the girls. Uh Excuse me? We're gonna work together, so you should be comfortable. You're gay, right? Um, is this appropriate? Oh, we all know. Oh, so. Yeah, this seems rough. I I'm not. Oh. Not cool to be wow. outed. Okay. And if you've ever well, been outed, you. I mean, just know that you are right. loved, uh, you're worthy, you that wasn't on? cool, the other person. You mean the job we've been doing while you've been standing here and chatting? Yeah, perfectly fine. Thanks. I love this moment at the water bottles. Whoa. Oh yeah, my God, Daniel's hair, I can't. I'm so sorry about that, that was <laughs> fucked up. He will call that Hispanic at the disco. Hey, you're not fully out yet, right? You don't have to answer that if you don't want to. I don't. I don't think. But I'm from that, to to myself. we get stronger. But apparently, everyone else seems to have figured out for me. Yeah. Well, trust me when I tell you that I totally understand that. Okay. You know, I just want to let you know that I'm here. Okay. Mm -hmm. We're both in and this. the bond was solidified. Appreciate it. Thank you. Yes, eat that pad thai. Hey, I'm just kidding. I don't know what the hell it's calling. Again. And again, we have Cheska in the background. I think okay. right there on the right. See, if there was an award for best extra, Cheska, 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 Cheska would get my vote and everybody's vote because. She killed it, not only as a director, but as an extra. Among other things that I'm sure she did. Daniel, what are you typing there? Are you actually working? No, hey, stranger. Not. of course he's not. Oh, uh, hey, what's up? What are you typing there? You know, you still worked here. I haven't seen you in forever. Yeah, you know, I wish I was just there for these office scenes just to be like a fly on the wall. Heard from Carla that you asked for this schedule change, though. Oh, uh, yeah, that that too. Everything okay? Uh, everything's fine. I just you know had a couple of things come up that I had to take care of. So. Look at Jacob's like perfectly quaffed. From you in over a month. Hair. I love it. I know, I'm a uh, fan. Carla mentioned AM training with you. I was just wondering if that's something you're still interested in. <laughs> Daniel, you can edit this out if you don't want anybody to know, but this was Daniel's yeah, like you know, actual work office that we borrowed over the weekend. Guy. Borrowed. <laughs> um, but, but no, yeah, uh, definitely still interested. Um, but like I said, I have a couple of things I need to get taken care of first. And I don't want to waste your time either. Well, <laughs> you wouldn't be wasting my time. Let me know when you're ready. Yeah, definitely. All right. I will see you around. I'll be here. Ooh, open house time. Let me know if you need and again, I don't know if I'm allowed to say this, but this is Cheska and Donnie's house. Donnie's our DP, really like Cheska's one. husband. And well, they were so nice and they let us film in their home. The and nice. they had, bedrooms, place to work, yeah, there. they had a cat. They had actually cat. really did have, that. they had two cats. Okay, and that's the security deposit. Do you have $2,500 laying around anywhere? Mm, I can put up, I can put up the half for my tuition and you can put up the other half. 
You only have five saved up? Mm, no, but I would like to keep some of my savings. I'm going to need it for next year. Oh, and Cheska, yes, there she is again with Allie. What's up, Allie? Yeah, it's, Allie it's was great. also an extra if we're splitting it, in a couple of episodes. Like, you can take the other room and I'll, I'll, in the garage. Jasmine's trying to live there. in the garage. Splitting. I mean, that's cool. Yeah, I guess we're People live in garages. But... Nothing wrong with that. How much do you pay now? It's a little personal, Dad. Not when we're oh my goodness, that is Inessa's mom in the background with the hat. She's the nicest lady. I don't know, she happened to be in town that day and we were filming and we're like, come through. And she was gracious enough to help us as well. I think that's a good idea. I know, it's just, I forgot how much. Did I already mention that Cheska's like, like the realtor here? Help with anything else? Nope, uh, just roommates. Just looking at rooms. She's gonna take that one. I'm thinking about taking the pullout. Okay. All right, cool. That whole thing with like the pullout, that whole exchange there between me, Ines, and Cheska, I, I don't remember if that was scripted or not. I, I don't think it, I don't know if it was. It might've been improv. Randy, you're gonna go see Randy? Yes, I Oof. was writing out something. Oof, Sheila just sat down. It's about to get real. No. God, no. Sheila, have you told Randy? Of course she hasn't told Randy about you. Why would she tell Randy about you? Are you serious? Yes! Yes! Of course I told Randy about you. I mean, why do you think I've been... <laughs> Sheila's just like super casual about this. Oh. Uh. You do understand. Yeah, I've understood that. Ines is so great. She just made me? Sheila very likable, in my opinion. And do you even want to do this? Yeah. Yes, I do. Zaya and I need a home. Yeah. It just feels like Jazz. You know, now is not the time. Don't. Just, can you call me Jasmine? Oof. Don't call her Jazz. Seriously. Okay. And we all know why. Fine. That was a traumatic Jazz, situation with Jenny. Me and my ex at the grocery store. Need to talk so I can figure out the next step. So let Jasmine have some dignity. Go look at the next one. And that should be like a poster. And now Guillermo is gonna try to hey, step up. Cap. Cue that TikTok. Hey. The oh Wait, no, oh no. no. I'm fine. Just been busy. So we're we're good. Yeah. I just like, I'm just trying to go to work. Weird. I don't have time for this. How should I act? I don't know. Maybe answer your phone or something. Oh my God, the truck in the background. Okay. No, I did not know how to drive that truck. It was a stick shift, and I, I don't know how to drive a stick shift. But the truck is dope, though. Oh, okay, really? So, getting drunk as always and attacking someone I care about while making a scene, that's that's not what you intended? I mean, you know that that was, you know that's not what I Ooh, fun fact. Fun little nugget. So, it's kind of hard to see in this scene, but the name tag Jasmine none of your business. is spelled wrong. It's spelled Jazzy. Jazzy. I don't know if you can see it. No, you can't see it. It's spelled J A Z Y M. N E instead of J A Z M Y N E. And we both know that. No, you don't. And we didn't notice that until we were done. We were wrapped with the series. I, I didn't notice it. I just follow you. They would do that to Jasmine though at the grocery store. You're mad that that I don't want to do that anymore. That I actually want to move on and grow up, but you can't do that. Okay, fine. Maybe, maybe, maybe I do like to do that. Jasmine's maybe you spitting don't. facts okay. right now. But you're fucking delusional if you think that whatever you have going on is you. Grow you gotta up. keep those homies yeah, close to you that like come real. You know that lets you know what's up. 
You've never been anything but a second choice to anybody that you've ever come in contact with, but your ass is too drunk to fucking realize who you really are. Shh. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I didn't mean that. I didn't mean no. that. No. Oh, she meant everything that she just said. If, that, if that's your true colors, I'm fine. You know what? Good luck, Jasmine. I mean it. I really do, so whenever I go to work, it's... And that's when Jasmine and Guillermo broke up. <laughs> okay, so that's the end of the episode. But I would... I would like to say that for the audition process, Daniel had given me um, the monologue from episode five. And, you know, I did it on the first pass. And then for the callback, and it it's, you know, it's a deep, it's a more emotional monologue. And for the callback, he said, okay, great. Now do it funny. I would just like to challenge him and be like, Daniel, you know, episode 13, that last little exchange between you and, and Jasmine, make it funny. I'm just kidding. Nah, that was a fun process though, but that's it.